That's right. It's all the word. Y'all saying his breath shall please her. Keep his hands himself. All in the word. You read the Psalms of Solomon 4, 11, 15. Everybody find it. Psalms of Solomon 11, 4 and 15. Let's read. Verse 11. Thy lips, O my spouse, uh -huh. drop as the honeycomb. Mm. Honey and milk are under thy tongue. And the smell of thy garments is like the smell of Lebanon. Now check this out. Right now, they're talking about a virgin. And the place of a virgin. Okay? Read. A garden enclosed is my sister. My spouse, a spring shut up, a fountain sealed. You hear that? You see how the Bible uses those same words, fountain and water and refreshing, because a woman's love should be as a fountain, constantly refreshing and springing up. Read. Verse 13. Thy plants are an orchard of pomegranates with pleasant fruits. Compare. And spikenard, spikenard and saffron, calamus and cinnamon. Those are smells, aromas. A woman, you should. A woman, uh, a woman should, should should have different perfumes. It should be elegant. A woman should 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 should, should have a, 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 about her character, her character, her hair. Yes. There should be. Uh, you should uh, have things to take care of your hygiene, women. Because this will enhance your attractiveness to the opposite sex. Yes, yes. Thank you. Ari, did, you, did you hear it? Yes. It says, and she's like cinnamon and myrrh. Right. Bitterness and anger has an odor too. Oh, yes. Yes. Mm. Yes. Read. Yes, Lord. With all trees of frankincense. What? There's some more aroma? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Myrrh. Uh huh. And aloes. Uh huh. With all the chief spices. Chief spices. Chief spices. Mm. A fountain of gardens. A well of living waters. And streams from Lebanon. What is a revolution? A revolution is a sudden change for the better. What is a revolution? A sudden change for the better. What is a revolution? A sudden change for the better. Everybody, what is a revolution? A sudden change for the better. Everybody write down, animals are only physical. Write down, animals are only physical. And angels are only spiritual. Animals are only physical, and angels are only spiritual. But you as a human being are both completely spiritual and completely physical. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I don't know how many of you have traveled and been to conferences. What I just said, somebody would charge you $50 wow. for what I just told you. Wow. Wow. that you Angels are the only being that's completely spiritual. They have no need to come down to heaven. I mean, come down to earth. They only do as they are assigned by the spirit. Yes, yes. Animals don't have no soul. I don't care what, what uh, church you take them to. Take them to the Catholic church. Let the priest pray on them. They don't have no soul. They got mad at me when I was younger. I, God showed me that thing when I was about 10 years old. I said, the cat ain't got no soul. <laughs> Don't say that, that's what the cat does. I said, that cat went on the soul. That dead, dead. <laughs> Angels are completely what? Spiritual. And animals are completely what? Physical. But as a human being, you have the mixture of both. You are completely spiritual and you are completely physical. And a lot of us don't know the difference between the two. We don't know that we are completely spiritual and completely physical. So that's why when we get in certain uh, areas, the dog comes out. 
Because you have animal characteristics. That's why when you see certain dogs that are in heat, that, that dog will, that a feeder dog will walk up and down that alley around that other dog by the gate or over and over. And that's the same thing we do as women, as, as women do. They, when they see that man, they walk around and... <laughs> I know he see me. <laughs> and men, we say, <gasps> Because we have not understood yet the level of intimacy. There is an intimacy level that came between God the Father yes, and the Shekinah. Holy God. Now I'm about to go deep now, go deep on y'all. I'm not going to tell you what to write because if you're ready to change your life, I should see pins moving. There's the Shekinah glory. The Shekinah glory is the Holy Ghost. Are you hearing me? The word Shekinah is a female Greek word. The word Shekinah is not a male uh, characteristic. It's imperative that you know that. I don't care if you say it. Yeah, I, go to, I go to the church. Pastors say this all the time. This is not for you. This is not for uh, this level of uh, anointing that's on me today. It's for a life-changing anointing. You should be writing what the Holy Ghost is saying to you because you'll never hear it again, son. The Holy Ghost is a female character. Amen. You've been lied to. They told you that it was God in three persons. They told you it was God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. It's God the Father, it's God, and it's God as of the interpretation of a female that can be impregnated in a woman. That's why God did not send the Holy Ghost to another man. He sent the Holy Ghost in the form of the bloody flanks of a Virgin Mary by the name of a Virgin by the name of Mary. It's important that we understand why did he pick a female because he needed that character to impregnate the same character that's in heaven. It's not three men. You've been lied to. And when you get that in your head, you won't walk down the street the next day because your man or Muslim would garb on your head. When you know, wait a minute, I play a very important part in the church. But the reason why our women is bamboozled and y'all don't know anything because you frown while I'm trying to give you the truth. That's right. So when a man comes stepping to you, telling you something, you switch who you are. Because you don't know who you are. You are not a man. You have a great uh, place in the conception of Jesus Christ being born. Thank God. Shekinah. Have you ever seen a little boy named Shekinah? No. Because Shekinah is a female name. Amen. Yes. Yes, so. Thank you, Jesus. Study to show yourself right. approved. I know no other churches teach it, but they don't study. That's right. They come out of the seminary and teach what the teacher taught them. That's come right. On. That's right. Come on. How can three men make a baby? Can't do it. And y'all scared to talk up to these Muslim brothers. Tell them what you know. That's right. That's right. Ain't no three men. That's right. Amen. God the Father, God the Son, and the Shekinah glory. All right. The producing spirit. Thank you, Thank you, the feminine spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The breast. Yes. The glory. Yes. The smelly aroma. Yes. yes. Amen. Jeez. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should say thank God for the Holy Ghost. Say thank God for the Holy Ghost. Say thank God for the Holy Ghost. And God the Father spoke. Yes, He did. And when He spoke out, He spoke into Mary. That's right. Mary was just a body being used. That's right. Got to pray on prayers to Mary. All right. Every woman in here. You just as holy as Mary. That's right. That's right. That's right. Hear what I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. Hear what I'm telling you. Because you cannot say that that spirit moved then, but don't move now. Right. Jesus said, I'm to say, I'm saying today, yesterday, yesterday and forevermore. Evermore. And we have belittled people and beat people down to thinking, I can call on the spirit, but I can't be uh, holy enough to have the spirit invested in me. The devil is alive. Devil is alive. Every last one of y'all need the Holy Ghost oh, yeah. invested in you. Yes, yes, right. evidence of speaking in tongues. Yes, right. yes. Because there's some things that you can't understand in your natural language. Oh, yeah. There's some stuff that you did, they ain't going to take no English to get you out of. Yes, right. 
It's going to take a celestial realm to move 